Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Derber with my lovely, beautiful, extravagant... Oh, please, come on. ...wife, wife. Alberta <laughs> Derber. And we are just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's Word once again. Luke yes. 1, 37 says, With God, nothing, nothing shall be impossible. And we're glad you're able to join us over this next half hour. And uh, we, we uh, Pastor... Faith Victory Church right here in the capital city of Frankfort, Kentucky, and just uh, delighted to be on WFBN. Thankful to uh, Robert Tilton for building this network and allowing us to uh, be involved in it. And uh, we like teaching the word and getting the word out to whosoever wants to hear it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, over the next half hour, we're going to uh, get into uh, some teaching that we've been covering the last couple of days about uh, awesome. working the word within, working yeah. the word within. If anybody didn't get to see the last couple of days, you need to go back because um, to just jump in now. <laughs> well, we're going to review, but uh, yeah, yeah, really go it's back. There, and watch it's them. there in the archives, and you so need to so watch forth. them over and over. Really. And if you want to know more about our ministry, you can uh, look us up on the on the internet, uh, faithvictorychurch.us and uh, uh, find us there. Also, our prayer line, our helpline is there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Prayer starts things and prayer ends things or both if it need be. Mm -hmm. So I'm ready to jump in this. Yeah, me too. James chapter one, this has been our springboard uh, subject here in, in, in chapter one. Uh, in verse 22, it says, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Now, uh, if you're a faith person and you've been living by faith, the mainly that interpretation, we read it like this, but keep action. Be, be people of action of the word and not hearers action. only, deceiving your own self. And that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. But James talks about that in chapter 2, mm -hmm. where he says, hey, you say, you say you got faith and you don't have no works? I'll show you my faith by my works, mm -hmm. right? And so on and so forth, because he goes on to say, faith without works or corresponding action is dead, being alone. Just like the body without the spirit is dead, yeah. so faith, faith without, without works is dead, action. right? So we're not, we're not shunning that at all. What I want you to see, though, is you can have sown for what you're believing for. You have claimed, believed you received, and be putting corresponding action to it and lose the faith fight within. And uh, there has to be the working of the word within and, uh, you know, we've, we've uh, pastored, uh, we'll be 30 years here in September, uh, and the same church. Uh, and we've seen people get fired up on a promise of God, sow seed, believe they receive it, and put corresponding action to it, and not see the manifestation of it. What happened? Well, my guess, because I don't know if they're in strife or yeah, we don't. We don't exactly, we don't. But know. I believe a, I believe a lot of it is they lose the battle within. Uh, James says, "Count it all joy when you fall in in the same chapter. Count it all joy." Well, let's back up and read that. It says here right, in yeah. verse two. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall in diverse temptations. Those are the temptations to quit. Mm -hmm. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience. Your faith is being tried. Mm -hmm. It works patience, but let patience have a perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Right. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God to give to all men liberally and upbraids not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Now, this is where, this is where the battle uh, gets lost. Mm -hmm. 
For he that wavereth is like the wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he wow. shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man my, my, my. is unstable in all his ways. So he's talking to brethren there. Mm-hmm. And he says, count it all joy when the, enemy, when the enemy's trying to get you to quit. Count it all joy. Let patience work, right? Yeah. What's he talking about? He's talking about there's a working of the word, joy, patience, all this, all this working within you. Mm-hmm. You're, and, and you just don't say, okay, turn the joy on. No, joy has to have substance of the word of God. Mm-hmm. Patience has to have substance of the word of God. You, can, you, you just don't have joy because you saw the joy of the Lord is your strength. You have to, you have to bring uh, joy scriptures and you have to work those joy words and those patient words within so that when uh, you're in the storm, uh, you not only your faith is out there working, bringing into manifestation what you have believed you have received and sown for, your corresponding action is working, you have the word working within Mm -hmm. that is countering anything that the enemy who's trying to come to steal, kill, and destroy. This whole thing that you just read has totally opened up to a whole, now I'm like, this was happening with this progressive revelation. We, now, how long have we worked? I yeah. mean, you know, I don't have a doubt in my mind that, you know, but I like where it says here, if any of you lack wisdom in any situation, mm-hmm. ask of God. Ask of God. Mm-hmm. There it is. God, ha- come on. Give me that. Give me the wisdom that I need to be worked in me mm-hmm. to produce well, what I, I I'm expecting or believing. You know, we read. Boy, yesterday, that's so. We read yesterday Colossians chapter one, uh, verse twenty nine. Let me just read it from here. It says, "Whereunto I also labor, striving according to His working, which works in me." Mightily, <laughs> oh wow! Right, <laughs> this is and this so, is wild. You know, it's like the devil <laughs> has you, the Lord. devil has no weapon that he can form, no, that can combat the word of God. So when when we see the word of God, we believe we received that. Oh boy, we've sown say. accordingly, and we've released our faith, right? And faith is out there. Well. The home station here, <laughs> it shouldn't be getting knocked all over the place, right? And and but that's where the enemy's the enemy can't attack your faith out there. No, he can't attack your seed no. out there. He has to come and attack the source of your faith, the source of your seed. And so he comes in here and you know and tries to steal the word, to kill off hope, to destroy your faith. Not too long ago, you know, I remember it was. It had to do with all that pandemic or pandemic that you know everybody that day that the Lord after a while, you know, because I'm like, Lord, and he he just and he was talking about the church, not me myself. Now I may have been included, but he he. It, it, I mean, it, it wasn't audible, but it felt like it was audible. He said, whatever happened to uh, no weapon formed against you can prosper. Mm-hmm. It was like, mm-hmm. and I knew he was talking about the church. Mm-hmm. And word of faith Christians that were falling like flies, you know. I was like, whoa. I mean, it snapped me like, hello. He didn't know about the pandemic at that time. The no weapon formed against you shall prosper is all inclusive. All inclusive. It could be somebody could be threatening you with a little pen knife. Yeah. Or somebody can have a tank pulled up. Yeah, wow. Right? Don't make no difference. It's all inclusive. God don't care. It's not like, oh, wow. Or a cold. 
Or a deadly virus. Or, or bills. Whatever. Right? So, uh, getting back here, Alberta, to My chapter goodness. 1 and verse 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. So when we're talking about doers of the word, certainly corresponding action. We get that. But letting the word do its work within you. Working the word within you. Uh, Basically, that's what the Lord was what, saying to me, too. What happens a lot of times, Alberta, with me, with me, is, and I'm not trying to act super spiritual. I just spend a lot of time in this. A lot of people think you're super spiritual. <laughs> I, I spend a lot of time in Absolutely this. Absolutely, you spend. Right? I'll, and what happens? Your day. What happens is I get into these word conversations within me. In other words, yeah. Uh, all of a sudden, a scripture. I'll be praying in the Holy Ghost, you know, and all of a sudden a scripture will bubble up, and then another scripture will answer that, mm -hmm. and another scripture will complement that, mm -hmm. and another scripture will say, "Okay, that that, that confirms that." It happens within. That's the word working within, right? Yeah. But we're talking about in the middle of a faith fight. What got you into that fighting the good fight of faith? What got you there? Mm -hmm. Right? What word is it? Mm -hmm. When Jesus said to the disciples, let us pass over to the other side. That word, that word, all they, all, all they had to do was just take the first two words, let us. And if they would have worked that, let us. No, he said us. Mm -hmm. And he's sleeping. He's still in us, us need to be sleeping. <laughs> let us, let us. That's now, this, this is working the word. Yeah. This is working the word. You know, I remember when that shepherd came out to our house looking for pregnant sheep to buy. And, you know, I was certain, you know, I had three rams and we had all those uh, ewes and I'd, I'd witnessed them breeding, you know, and so on and so forth. And I'm thinking, yeah, well, and we, we were uh, selling the farm, you know, and, and, and going into the ministry. And, and I, I said, yeah, I got a whole field full of them. And he come out there and he looked at them and, you know, he started feeling around on them and. And then, you know, he came over to me and said, uh, Mr. Darber, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but there's a, none of your sheep are pregnant. And he got in his truck and drove off. Man, and my heart sunk. Oh, right. Jesus. And I'm walking back to the house, and the Lord said, what's wrong with you? I said, well, you heard what the shepherd said. Mm -hmm. And he said, but what did I say? Mm -hmm. Now, here's where I had to work the word within. Yes, sir. Because it was already there. Mm -hmm. You said all my cattle, because that's what all my cattle would bring forth. Mm -hmm. So what's changed? So now, Alberta, now, I got to work that within. Yeah. Because the corresponding action is I'm building stalls for the lambing. And, and, my, and our sheep are showing no signs of I got corresponding action mm -hmm. going with what I believed I received. But I got to win the battle within. Where, what did he, what did, what, what did God say? So I'm, I got this working inside me, all my cattle shall bring forth. And I'd catch myself because he showed me how to tell if yeah, they're pregnant. I would catch it, yeah. myself. Checking them out, and all of a sudden, ah, no, no, what no, I and I would have to work the word within. Now I got corresponding action, mm -hmm. building, building all those stalls, putting electricity and water in the barn, and all that. You know, I got corresponding action going with it. But if I don't maintain, and I'm a baby Christian, if I don't maintain working the word within, none of them sheep would have brought forth, Excuse even me. though God said, yeah. All your cattle will bring forth. There'll not be a barren womb among you. 
making me do a whole lot of thinking, a whole lot of examine, examine yourself, whether you be in the faith. Well, read Philippians. That's pretty good, you know. Yeah. Examine yourself is right. Yes. That's real good. Yes. Because because uh, we're living, we're, we're, God spoke to me the other day talking about uh, miracles are in the making. We're living in a, in, in a powerful time oh, God. of uh, of all the ages. Yeah. And it's all coming together. we're privileged, we're privileged to not only uh, be living in this time frame, but to be living in America and for us living in Kentucky and uh, being in this ministry and so on and so forth, we are privileged. And God is expecting, he's expecting his enemies to be made his footstool. And uh, anyway, you know, when, years ago when he, when he called me to teach faith, you know, I said, well, Lord, you're going to have to, you're going to have you're going to have to help me. Yeah. Give me understanding because there's things that I understand that I don't have that I'm not able to express Please. until he gives me the door of utterance. And once he gives me the door of utterance, it's like, oh, okay. You right? got it. Right? Yeah. So read Philippians chapter 2, uh, 12 and 13 there. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God. I love this. For it, I always love this verse anyway, but now it's just, for it is God, and I understand it's God at work in. It, for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good Pleasure. Now read that verse, and instead of saying God, say the word. For it is the word which worketh in you, both to will as man. And because the word is God. That's right. The word is John God. John 1, 1. Yes. For it is the word which worketh in you, both to will and to do of the words. Good pleasure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... Wow, the word has nothing but good pleasure for us. Yeah, that's all it is—is is good. But we got we got to uh, let the word of God wow. have free course. You know, I mentioned it. I think it was yesterday. Uh, I believe it's in Colossians where it says, "Let the word of God dwell in you richly." Yeah. In other words, let that word. You you got to have the word working in you on purpose. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It, it's not oh, some, yeah. It's not something that automatically takes over. No. No, you do it. You do it. You you work this word. You you, all, you you got the corresponding action going on. You believe you receive. Now you're working the word. Yeah. I'm talking about within you. Yes. You're working that word. Mm -hmm. And and again, Second Corinthians ten, verse uh, four and five, so important. Casting down imaginations in every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought through the obedience of Christ. That's just, that's just keeping the fiery darts uh, out of your garden, out of your heart. But you have to, you know, the Word of God, it, it, it talks about it's a two-edged sword. I got so, so when when... Yeah. The reason is two edge. It's out there. One edge is cutting and bringing in what you, what you believe you receive. The other one is cutting within and doing its work within. And 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 you're working. You know uh, the Bible says you're co laborers with God. See, and so when your faith is out there working, what is what is faith? It's the Word of God. That's right. So the Word of God is out there working. Well, God, God needs us to be co-laborers with him. He needs the word of God to be working within while it's working without. And so whatever caused wow. the word to be, to be, to be too much. whatever caused the word to, to work without needs to continue to work within. I was just thinking, 
It just came to me. Faith is a servant. It talks mm-hmm. about you don't tell your servant, you know, come right. in from the field and you know, right. sit down and eat. No, no you keep get to the... work. You you better start serving me. Yes, that's good. Keep ever. working. Yeah, you know? but you know what? I was also thinking about. I mean, I mean, you're talking, and I'm like, it's just all this. Yes, it's like my great my my, my word. Second Corinthians five seventeen. Mm-hmm. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation, and all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Mm-hmm. The word is constantly becoming new, mm-hmm. working in us to become mm-hmm. that new creation. Mm-hmm. New. I mean Well, watch this, Amber. You remember Oh, when, just let me tell you one thing. No, no, no. <laughs> you remember when we were on Ebay? Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord told yeah. me to go to the end of the island. And Absolutely, pray. yes. Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Wild dogs. Wild dogs. That, that to me just... Now, by, now, now 30 years ago... I like heard the dogs. Wild dogs. The dogs would sleep during the day. All day, because it was hot. Well, and plus, Marshall Lee's would stone them if, oh. if, if, if they did anything goofy. But... Uh, <laughs> goofy. Where, where the Lord told me to go was all the way down the end of the island where their dump was, and I said, I, you know, I was I was oh, afraid. Sharks, rats. I was afraid. Fear. I hear you. <laughs> and I had to, what I had to do, I had to work that word within yeah. me. The first the first night I went out, there's a there's a dog right there, turned over the uh, trash can and was rummaging Can't through it and turned right around inside, yeah. <laughs> like like that. And <laughs> right inside here, I've not been given the spirit of fear. fear. Now watch this, I'm muttering that. I've not been given the spirit of fear. I've not been given the spirit of fear. I'm 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 working this within. <laughs> right? While I'm putting corresponding action yes, to what walking. God has said. Well that that was the first night. Well the second night, right? There was there was there's a couple more dogs, but fast forward because we're running out of time. That one wow. night I got up and there was only one street light on that whole uh, Lagoon Road there. There must have been 10, 12 oh, dogs God. underneath Call that light. Pack. And they saw me when I was coming. <laughs> Everything within me said, go back to the apartment. Go back to the, our, our missionary complex. <laughs> but where the word of a king is, he told me, yeah. now watch this, he told me, go to the end of the island and pray. Now I'm putting corresponding action to that, but I got an obstacle in front of me, wild dogs. I gotta have something working within me. My God. And as I walked up there, they're snarling. You heard them. Yeah. They're barking oh, and they're, they're, they're showing their teeth I and their ears are back. And they And I'm walking, I'm walking through them and literally they I can feel them on both sides of my legs, right? And I'm 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 working this. I'm not been given the spirit of fear. I'm not been given. And you're the trying to keep that you. fear from and, and being it's working thrown out. Yeah. I got corresponding action yeah. doing what God said to do. But I'm working through the battle. And I get down there, and you know, uh the Lord spoke to me that day and he said, Because you've obeyed me, yeah. I'm gonna take you in ministry where a lot of ministers don't go. And uh, then just a few days later, I'm down there on the picnic bench, and that's when the wild dogs came down. There must have been 30 or, or so of them, and they're going to hunt in that dump. Were there 30? Oh, there's a mess of them. I'm still thinking 12, 15. We're, we'll see when we get to heaven. Yeah. In my mind, I don't know if I it, was, it was a herd. <laughs> If it had been one. Yeah, that's right. And, and, right. and, and they're, they're going to walk around to the dump and hunt hunt wraps and see what they can find. <laughs> and I'm just like, the wind's blowing the right way where they can't smell <laughs> oh, me and anything. I'm thinking all in the natural. All of a sudden, that one dog looked at me. <laughs> and when he looked at His me, ears he up. took out barking and the rest of them turned and they come running. And Alberta, I can see that what that was in then. me? The corresponding action was the Lord said, don't move. Hey, oh. that's easy for you to say. All of a sudden, 
the word working in me. And I started speaking out every scripture I could think of. And when I couldn't think of that, <laughs> I was praying in tongues. And all of a sudden, up out of me, Lord, you said when they'd come in, the enemy would come in one way, they'd flee seven ways. I did not know that was That's in right. there, but I'd read that. Somehow it had gotten down in there. And that first dog leaped, and he hit a wall of glass. Supernatural. I, yeah, I could and they see all, it. And they all ran. I mean, I see it. I didn't they, see it. They all ran into that. And Jesus delivered me, and we're out of time. My sure goodness. Are. I'm getting fired up. I know. But it's the word working in you. Wow. It's so. Uh, Helping your corresponding yes, action. Yes, yes. Well, I hope you're getting this. We're going we're gonna to pick this up again tomorrow and and and, and uh, go, go forth in this and, and go back and listen to it and whatever, right? Oh, and, yeah, you have to. Of course you need to go back and listen yeah. over and over, yeah. Ecclesiastes chapter wow. 8, verse 4 says, Where the word of the king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing. The Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24-7, so you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.